Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm actually outside today. I've been kicked out to my balcony because I'm about to do uh, some soldering. So I can't uh, be indoors, um, definitely since I'm living in an apartment now. But um, for today's video, we're going to try to fix and salvage uh, two Z490 motherboards. Both of these are for MSI. Um, I have the first one here. And what's going, going on with these is that they have a capacitor that is uh, broken off. Um, um, they, they pretty much just got knocked off. There's one here that's, that got knocked off on the left side, and then there's another one that's almost completely off on the other Z490 motherboard. Um, but it's still slightly attached, but I want to replace that one too because uh, there's no point in uh, leaving that uh, the way it is. So instead of going ahead and throwing these away or recycling them, I want to see if I can make them work again. And for that, we have a donor board. Uh, this donor board is a Z390 a Pro MSI motherboard. Um, it does have the same capacitors, the, six, the 560 6.3 volt capacitors that I need. This is a donor board because the PCIe slot is completely broken. There's a couple other things wrong with this. Um, but we also want to use this as for parts so we don't throw away and cause more heat waste. All right, so the first method didn't work. So what we're gonna do, so what ended up working was actually getting a little bit of solder. We have solder here. We're going to act, we'll put more solder on the joints, more solder on it. Almost like we're soldering it back on, right? Get a good glob on there. Okay, both sides. And then we're gonna take pliers, get a hold of the capacitor. Just so we have something to pull when we're uh, extracting. Then we're gonna heat up the solder again. And boom, comes out. As you can see, the it actually came out really clean. I don't have to clean it up at all. It's almost like a brand new part. Okay, they're both like that. And so now we just have to get them installed on the other boards. All right, so this is the Z490, uh, the first one. We're gonna use a similar method to try to get them out. I've already marked my, my spot there. We're gonna add a little bit of solder to both sides. Just like that. And then we'll try to get behind it and try to pull out the uh, pins from the other side. In case you're wondering how I'm gonna pull these out, I've actually, uh, Squish these together, so so then I'll be able to grab them just like this, and then just pull them out. There you have it. They both came out just fine, um, both pins, and now we're gonna clean this area up so we can get the other, uh, the other capacitor on. But to clean the area, I'm gonna just put a little bit of flux on the back where those, where those pins are um, and use the solder wick to kind of suck it up and hopefully um, it sucks everything up through the other side so that we don't have to, um, so that we don't have to uh, work on the uh, front side of the board.
All right, so it looks like we still got some solder in there. So Okay, so sadly for me, the bottom hole is not cooperating. I cannot get all of the uh, solder out um, and extract, and I don't have a solder extractor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it in place since the top hole does work, and I'm gonna turn the whole board around, and I'm gonna see if I can get it to get it to sneak in, just like this. Let's see if we can do it. So that didn't work. What I want to do now is I'm going to add solder to the bottom hole. A little bead of solder, as you can see there. Now I'm going to try again. Let's make sure this is on right. I think it's this way. Balance it in place. Just like so. And then let's hope that it works this time. First one's on, a little crooked to the right, but it's on there, so we're good. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful for you and it showed you how to take out a capacitor and uh, use it to fix another board. Sadly, I don't have a processor at the moment to test these two boards out. I didn't, uh, I, 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 I'm hoping that that's all that was wrong with them. I will be taking them to work uh, and hopefully testing them there and seeing if they work. If they both work, I will then give one of them to one of my coworkers. He actually wanted one of these. So um, let's hope they work. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, until the next video, thank you again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, and that like button if you learned something from this video. And see you on the next one. Take care of yourself and everyone else. Bye.